Welcome back to Views to the Hughes Agenda for News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So we also we've now learned that the director of Marvel Studios Disney Plus show Secret Invasion has stated that he doesn't really care what the fans think about the show itself. All right. Now, while many people are looking to forget about Secret Invasion and erase it from their memory soon, director Ali Salim's continuous remarks only serve to intensify the pain. Now, remember, this is the same director who came forward in an interview and stated that Marvel Studios told him that they don't want him to read the comics in order to go ahead and make the show, which at one point states that it doesn't really make sense. But at the same time, it shows you what their intentions are. And that's to put, put out there a particular political messaging through their version of the storytelling. OK. Now, with that being said, he made several interesting comments about the show's reception from both critics and the audience, some of which seem nonsensical, while others come across as dismissive. He was quoted in an interview from Variety saying, I don't feel bad about mixed reviews. If you had unanimously good reviews, every movie would gross $10 billion or $20 trillion, right? Projects resonate with different people at different times for different reasons. And Marvel has a devoted, even rabid fan base who have expectations. And when their expectations aren't fulfilled, they move in the other direction. They give it a thumbs down. Well, of course, they're going to give it a thumbs down because if you're making it for them and they're not enjoying it, then they're going to show you that they're not enjoying it. It's up to you to go ahead and determine to give the fans what they want or what they don't want. But it's best to go ahead and give them the what they want. As a matter of fact, that's the only thing to do as a director or even a creator to give what the fans want. All right. But, for instance, in an interview with Variety, he mentions examples of highly acclaimed movies that didn't perform well at the box office. Drawing parallels within the superhero genre like James Gunn's Suicide Squad, which had a 90% score from critics, but was still considered a flop financially. He also stated, oh, I don't read reviews with all due respect. For me, I view all the storytelling work as I do as a dialogue with an audience. In other words... He's selling F you to the fans. I don't know. Is it our job to fulfill their expectations or do or to tell the story that we're telling? I believe that's a yes. Because of the fact that if you're telling the story to the fans, they're the ones to determine if it's good or not. So it's a tricky thing. I would love it if everyone loved it too, but also... I don't have that expectation myself, so I feel great about the response to it. Now, regarding Secret Invasion, the show was supposed to present a grounded Cold War-like Marvel series, but it failed to deliver on that promise. But instead, it lacked intrigue and evolved into a traditional CG-heavy battle in the end, with the Super Scroll fight allegedly requested by Kevin Feige. Now, the reveal of characters as scrolls such as Rhodey, should have tied logically to their past appearances, but Salim appears unaware when Rhodey's replacement took place, such as in Marvel Iron Man 2, when Don Cheeto replaced Terrence Howard, leaving fans to figure it out for themselves, which was a bad idea. All in all, Secret Invasion is considered one of Marvel's biggest disappointments, and Salim's nonchalant attitude towards it seems inappropriate and dismissive of the fans' concerns. Now, let's be fair. Um, no, let's be real, actually. Disney actually banged on an activist-type people who are supposed to be creators, actors, so on and so forth, and they all they've done is just chase away the apolitical people who don't want political views shoved down their throats or don't want it to be don't want to be preached to simple as that now each um episode of secret invasion was basically definitely a failure averaging between 10 percent to 15 percent on audience scores from Ryan tomatoes now from how this show was made it seems like he didn't put enough effort or no effort in it at all now when he said that he wants to have a dialogue with the fans in reality he means f you to them okay now, this director is also an example of people who wants to use the IP as their platform 
for their activism and he doesn't want to do the same in or the base uh, minimum in creating content and when the people have a problem with it he pushes back against them saying that he doesn't care what they think of it now for as for any company out there who wants to go ahead and hire a particular person who wants to go ahead and use IPs as a way of getting their messaging out to use it as a platform for act activism and stuff. Um, not only will the company use lose money, but it's also going to show that the fans clearly um, sh um show how they feel about them. Not to mention when the fans clearly state what they want and they speak out against them, they go ahead and turn around and just simply insult the fans. Okay. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know what went wrong in the video. Also, be sure to include any additional thoughts you may have about this particular topic that I shared. If you enjoyed what I shared in this video, go ahead and smash the like button, share far wide across social media. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. So that way you will be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.